Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so in this video... What? So in this video, I'm going to be playing some Pulley Rulu. Or whatever the hell this... What is this garbage? Let's check this out real quick. What? Uh, 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 uh. Uh! Making it rain or snow or something. What the hell is this garbage? Oh, crap. What's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Oh, we ain't doing all that. All right, well, forget this crap. That's not what we're here for today. It's definitely not what we're here for today. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Got a little distracted. So in this video, we are going to continue the uh, arcade machine that we're building. We are using the Game Room Solutions two-player arcade panel. At least that's what I'm using. You can use two-player bar top or any other panel. Um, just of note, 20 buttons. That's what we're going to encode everything for. If you're going to follow step by step to have a I say a damn good quality system here. Um, so after this, this video, we'll continue with the wiring, which is going to be a very short video. And then from there, we will be building a RetroPie image with the track mode from scratch. So let's cut this nonsense of this pulley, rulu, whatever the heck that was. Let's get down and just build this two-player panel. So here we go. Let's get this party started. Okay, so to start with our Game Room Solutions two-player panel, you're going to unpack everything, obviously. You're going to have your plexiglass top and your buttons. And we're going to want to line all that up, put our buttons in to lock in place the plexiglass. So from here, we're just going to put in our buttons and put our locking nut on each one. At this time, you could line them up for your micro switches or just quickly get them in there in order to lock the plexiglass in place and then just line them up later. So at this point, I would recommend not tightening them too much, just getting them on there enough to hold the plexiglass in place. And typically these kits that Game Room Solutions sells, everything is cut out pretty nicely. Um, I've dealt with these kits before for, for other people who wanted me to set them up for them and whatnot. And even when he first started offering them, I, th I thought they were pretty good quality. But I've noticed now um, everything is is done just a tad bit better i guess you know he's probably improved his process a little bit but um you'll if you've messed with these before you'll notice there's a lot of improvements as far as fit and whatnot goes i didn't have pretty much no troubles putting this one together but as you see putting in the buttons um you can put your one and two player start wherever you want um You know, I typically have the coin in and then the player start as the next button. Some people do it in reverse, but we're going to wire these up in the next video according to how I'm doing it on this video. So if you want to have the same outcome as what I'm going to have, then follow this exactly. If not, change it up a little bit. It doesn't really matter as long as you know what you're doing. But if you're kind of new to this, I would recommend following exactly how I'm doing everything. So there we got all the buttons in. Now we're going to work on getting the sticks put in. So take the ball tops off if they're already on there. Get the little dust plate off. Pretty simple. No brainer. You know, sorry if my commentary is not extremely exciting here. 
we're just putting together a panel. And there's your bag of goodies of uh, all your screws and whatnot. Like I said, sorry about the you know the nonstop excitement here. But all the screws, he, you know, typically you're going to get a few extras. Um, these specific uh, screws are for the uh, the sticks to be locked in place, which is really nice. And you get your little nuts as well. from here on this side I, I had to screw them all in by hand part way and then use a screwdriver to screw them in this side for some reason was a little tight the one player side the the screws just slid right in but there was no issue at all just took a little a little longer to screw these ones in and then just put your nuts on there Typically, the the nut, you, I I just tighten it by hand. I'll hold the nut in place with my fingers, and then I'll use a screwdriver to screw them in and tighten them up. And they're it's pretty solid. You can use pliers or whatever else you want to hold the nut, but I typically just use my fingers, and it works out pretty well. From there, dust plate back on, put our ball, use either a flathead or whatever you got to tighten it, a little screw on the bottom, and you're good to go. Boom! First player and second player installed. Bam, buttons, everything nice. Next step, I've already lined up the buttons for the micro switches. You might have to make a few little adjustments here and there. Typically pretty easy. You're going to pop in the micro switch. You know, obviously the button is going to be down. The little yellow button or whatever color it is on the ones you get. You're going to want to put the uh, the low hole into the, the button first. And then kind of push it down into it. Um, makes it easier. If you try putting the top hole first into the little peg on the button and then the bottom... It's a little tighter and harder to do, so it's recommend doing the bottom hole, wedging it on there, and then pushing it down. Good to go. And then here I'm showing, you know, the one and two player buttons. They're not gonna the micro switch side's not gonna line up the way you want, um, you know, with the the way it's printed. So that's fine. You got plenty of plenty of room to play with with your uh, cables, your wiring not too shabby then right here I'm showing that um, some of the micro switches I got they have you know either one or two pins which it's not gonna matter the, the bottom side with the two pins you're only gonna use one it's not gonna matter so don't stress if you get micro switches that are like that and then right here we're gonna be putting in the um, the, the, the hinges on this panel that way you can open it up uh, fix anything you need to fix or swap out your micro SD card you know, this pretty neat um, feature of this this particular kit and these I noticed from the first uh, the first kits that he had put out the holes for the hinges weren't big enough um, you'd have to dremel them out or sand them out or do whatever to get them a little bigger but these kits that I received recently they all fit flush and perfect so we'll go ahead and screw those in boom don't over tighten anything on this you don't want to crack the the melamine coating and here I'm showing the cam locks this is how we're gonna assemble the rest of the box so you got the cam locks and the cam lock screws um, these can be tricky if you don't know what you're doing um, and those are the holes I'm pointing at to where you're gonna you're gonna screw in the uh, the cam lock screws 
And these guys, you definitely don't want to over tighten them. They will start to crack the panel. So from here, just hand screw them in. I highly recommend not using a power drill to screw these in as you don't want to overdo it. Like I said, some of these you see there's slits down the side. Um, you can wind up pushing too far and cracking that and that's where you're going to want to put your T-molding. Boom. Like I said, don't over tighten them. Get them just flush with the board. So they will start to crack it. And there we go. This is very simple. It's, this whole process, putting this whole box together buttons and, and everything bam thumbs up um, the whole process won't take you no more than a half hour 45 minutes shouldn't anyway if you're fast and quick and have everything set up already shouldn't even take that now here with the uh, the cam locks there's one thing you're gonna notice there's an arrow pointing and there's a little uh, little logo on them that's pointing to where you're gonna lay it down so that arrow you're pointing it and you're placing it where the screw is is facing so where the screw is coming out you're pay, you're putting that cam lock straight down with the arrow pointed toward the cam lock screw as long as you're doing that you will not screw it up if you put them in wrong it will not tighten properly or you'll strip the screws so you really want to make sure you're facing that arrow toward the screw and you'll have no problem at all. Here, you, you really actually, that side panel, you want to keep both of them loose so you can get this top one in. So you can just kind of slide it over and push it in. Pretty simple. Boom. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Okay, back to it. Forget that nonsense. So now we're going to put the other hinge onto the box so that way we could pop this bad boy open. Um, I should have got a close-up on here, but it's not going to matter that much. But the one thing you're going to notice with this, um, and I'm, I'll point at it in the video, but you just you won't really see it. But on these hinges, there are lines where the screws are, vertical lines. You want to line those lines up perfectly in the middle of the holes that are pre-drilled. That way it lines up, everything lines up perfectly. I'm just showing here all these damn screwdrivers are too, too tall to get in there. Even the smaller one, was it just wasn't working. The tool that he provided, not working. Garbage. Just garbage. Couldn't screw these, these little guys in because of the cramped space there. So, had to run my big ass upstairs. Go find a little mini power screwdriver. So here, oh man, I was I was out of breath. We have three floors in my house. I had to run all the way upstairs to get this little guy. Don't know why it's not in my garage, but bam, uh. Get those screws, the, like I said, the little lines, you need them lined up perfectly. Like right there, I kind of pointed at it. You have to have them lined up perfectly with the hole. That way you get them in there, exactly. And there we go. The kit is put together. Um, next thing we need to do, clean that bad boy off. Little can there. Make sure there's no dust in there. Um, there I'm showing, you know, you got the, the routing done. So you can put your T-molding, your three-quarters inch T-molding. Order that online. Bam. Good to go.